Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of the Cortland Playbook. I'm Robert Gong. And I'm Michelle Macalina. And we're here with your SUNY Cortland sports update. Cortland dropped their third straight conference game versus Brockport on Saturday, 19-21. The loss drops Cortland's record to 3-5 overall and just 1-5 in conference play this season. In the fourth quarter, Brett Sagala entered the game for Cortland at quarterback. He is the fifth quarterback used this season for the Red Dragons. Sagala led a seven-play, 80-yard touchdown drive to pull the Red Dragons within two, but the two-point conversion would be no good. Cortland elected to kick deep with three timeouts and wanted to trust the defense, but a Brockport first down allowed them to take three consecutive knees to win the game. Freshman Zach Tripodi scored a one-yard rushing touchdown, and the second touchdown came on a rushing score from Sagala in the fourth quarter. Shane Cronin made two field goals, including a career-best 40-yarder. The Red Dragons look to get a win at home against winless Morrisville State on Saturday at 1 p.m. Women's field hockey defeated Oneonta 3-0 last Friday afternoon in Suniac play. The win improved them to 11-3 overall and 5-0 in conference. Sophomore Jessica Welsh scored twice for the Red Dragons, while senior Gabby Stein tallied a goal and an assist. Sophomore goalkeeper Kaylin Reinel made six saves by the end of the shutout. C-State then went on to beat New Paltz 2-1 last Saturday and claimed a SUNYAC regular season title. Cortland's first goal of the game was scored by Jessica Welsh and assisted by Gabby Stein. The game-winning goal was scored with, it, with 12 minutes remaining in the game by junior Anna Branch. Cortland hosted St. Lawrence on Wednesday and ended the game with a big win. Field hockey won 8-2 and improves 13-3 in conference. The Red Dragons will go up against Union this Saturday away at 1 p.m. The number eight ranked nationally men's soccer team picked up two wins over the weekend to end the regular season on a 10 game winning streak. First on Saturday, Cortland played host to conference opponent Oswego. Cortland defeated the Lakers 1 0 on a goal from Tyler Kirshner, his third of the year. Then on Sunday, the Red Dragons would beat out of conference opponent Canton 7 0. Cortland had Nick Tata and Tyler Kirshner each net two goals, and a trio of Daniel Friend, Jack Sumsky, and Derek Beers each add a goal. The Red Dragons improved to 15-2 on the regular season and will head to, into Suniac play as the number one seed. Cortland will host either New Paltz or Buffalo State, who will play on Saturday in the Suniac semifinals on Wednesday, November 2nd at 1 p.m. Women's soccer fell to Oswego 2-1 Saturday afternoon in their last Suniac matchup of the season. Cortland's only goal was scored by freshman Gabrielle Madaro in the second half of the game. Senior goalie Victoria Barclay registered one save by the end of the game. The Red Dragons went on to close the season with a 1-0 loss in Wilkes. Senior Victoria Barclay ended the game with four saves for the Red Dragons. Women's soccer will end their season at 8-8 eight eight in conference. That's all for this week's edition of the Cortland Playbook. And we'll see you next week.